Good evening, everyone. It is a crime the judge called despicable, and now the man behind it will spend the next 20 years in prison. Tad Cummins pled guilty to taking a 15 year old student from Kalioka Unit School to California in 2017, sparking a nationwide search for the two. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb was in the courtroom as the judge sentenced Cummins. And Jason, I know you heard from the victim today. Is that right? That's right. It was through a statement she was going to read to the judge herself. Uh, but when it came time to it, she broke down and eventually had the prosecutor read her words to the judge. Now for Cummins, as for Cummins, he arrived in court today with his feet shackled in his gray and black striped prison suit, looking mostly at his family who was there and then down at the ground or toward the table. Cummins had been on the run with his 15 year old victim for 38 days back in 2017 before being found in a cabin in the tiny town of Cecilville, California. In court today, that victim told Tad Cummins, quote, I was just a kid who wanted to make friends. All you were was a man who wanted sex. She also said, quote, you were someone that had a plan. You saw a broken girl. Cummins himself read a statement to his victim. He said he was sorry and he said, quote, you were a kid and my messed up misguided attempt to help you that went sideways in a way I don't even know I'll ever understand is not your fault. Now, the judge called Cummins crimes despicable despite having no criminal history and sentenced him to 20 years in prison, followed by lifetime supervision. We heard from the U.S. attorney prosecuting the case afterwards. We got justice for a brave victim who can get on with her life. And the good news is we've got a defendant who's got the next 20 years to think about the consequences of his actions. Now you can read the victim's entire statement on our website, newschannel5.com. As for Cummins, after the sentencing, he was taken away toward the side door. He looked over his left shoulder toward his family who was there. He mouthed the words, I love you, then blew them a kiss. Then he walked past behind the door. That is likely the last we will see from Tad Cummins, perhaps in several years. Live in Nashville tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.